Welcome to lesson 00, the introduction. Hopefully you've watched the uh, workspace preferences panels video. And you've gotten this far, you've laid down your color, you've made your artboard, you've put the stroke down with um, the sort of coupon border for this label, got your text, your chef hat, your muffin. And the very tricky part of this exercise is getting the <clears throat> bakery logo that's a pixel based Photoshop document just opened as a placed image inside of Illustrator. Tricky part is getting this to actually trace and cut out the white spots when you're uh, like in this area here so that when you p paste it over here and it's got a golden background that it actually will show through. So if you grab that and you go to object, image trace, make and expand. Let's open our palette here and we'll say ignore black and white. Say ignore white. We'll say object, image trace. Well, it made and expanded when we press that. So then when you go to click on the background and delete, Go to your direct selection. You should have, nope, it didn't work. Object, image trace, go to expand again. Okay, now when you go to Command Y, you will see that you have these objects. Now, say select all, control um, on a PC, command on a Mac, and cut X or like a pair of scissors. You can always do edit, copy, paste, cut. These are all in the edit menu. Cut that, paste it here. Um, I'm on a layer that's turned off, so click off of that. Um, just unlock and show all. Well, now I have two because I'm pasting it on that one. So I'll cut that, delete this guy. I had done this before. Delete. So if I paste, this would be a good time to use your shift down arrow, which is jumping 10 increments. Now I'm going to close this so I can see more what I'm doing. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, command minus, and then I'm going to use my space bar and sort of scrub around. You see how I'm grabbing the document? I just want to see where I'm placing it and what's the best thing. Now you see it's a little off center left to right and I want my little chef hat to be sort of embraced by the typography. So now I have equidistant space here from the edge of this label to here and equidistant space from here to this edge, this little green highlight. So I'm good left to right. You always want to keep your vertical space top to bottom here and here from the edge of the label to the baseline normally when it comes to typography. This is a very serify um, hand calligraphy handwritten font that we've just converted into vector art. So it, the baseline isn't going to be as stringent as San Francisco. I have the typography videos. You should watch those as well. Right now, I'm sort of embracing this chef hat. So we could move it up a little. Um, you can sort of play with that. But see, I'm going up and down arrows because I've got everything selected that I want selected. So it's just easier. I, I am very keyboard intensive, but it's also just easier. And it's <clears throat> then you then you don't mess something up by trying to select it and move it manually and you know, grab the wrong thing. If you're in the direct selection, you can accidentally change the shape. You don't want any of these things to happen. So basically, if you've got the entire item, and you can also lock, scrub up and down and lock these other layers. If you click off, click on the background, just scrub, I'm go scrubbing up and down. Obviously, I don't wanna lock the layer I'm working on. This is a, is a good move so that you don't sort of tap and move things accidentally and then everything's off. Um, now I'm just working, see the eyeball? That's just what's showing on and off. It's still there when you turn it off, you just can't see it. And sometimes you can do that to work in layers and select through layers. 
and sometimes you would want to like unlock that and then lock these up sort of with your command Y your artwork because you can get very complicated pieces of art you want to be able to click around and click through so locking and unlocking and isolating essentially is a good way to navigate those spaces and, and cause yourself less trouble so there's the tricky part of that demo for zero zero and it's just really all about don't worry about perfection just sort of get comfortable using the space and navigating around and finding what's easier and works best for you